This video is sponsored by Brilliant. The first 200 people to go to brilliant.org slash middle eight will get 20% off an annual premium subscription. Currents by Tame Impala is the perfect musical remedy for your post-breakup depression. Its title suitably acknowledges the notion of movement, going with the flow, and pushing forward. But in that same breath, conjuring up personal sentiments relating to water, a flood of emotions, a stream of consciousness, and a wave of discomfort. Kevin Parker's third studio record arrived following his breakup with then-girlfriend Melody Prochet, and has him searching for the meaning of that experience and of this loss. It carries a complete outpouring of despair while presenting a positive glint of hope for the future, giving the listener a new perspective in how to process and heal from the end of their own relationship. This is how Tame Impala writes a breakup album. Your relationship is in shambles. Whatever the reason may be, Currents has you covered. Perhaps your partner has noticed, but now you too have accepted that, yes, I'm changing. Whether that's your feelings or your intentions, after some thinking, you've decided it's probably best that you and your partner go your separate ways. Can't you see? There's no future left for you and me. But you're hopeful that this is the right path forward for the both of you. There is a world out there and it's calling my name. And it's calling or quite possibly your partner has changed. Maybe you suspect they've been unfaithful and eagerly desire to know the whole truth. Love Paranoia attempts to navigate the mental mania that follows in this particular scenario. Each of the two tracks eventually leads you to the moment, the moment where you have to make a decision and find the courage to break things off for good. Reality in Motion sees decision time approaching, as there's only one thing left to do. And I was closer than ever to let it go. And there's no real easy way to break up with someone. It's never going to come out just right, and you may never fully get the resolution you're looking for. So it's absolutely going to hurt you both. You'll wish you could turn that person back into a stranger, having never met them in the first place, but it's a choice you've been meaning to make for about five songs now. Feels like to put your heart it. it won't happen immediately, but you know that you'll be happier and that they will be too. It's at this point you're most likely contemplating everything that has just occurred. An inner speaking sort of gossip. But all of this noise shouldn't be as loud as the voice telling you to just let things pass. Try to get through it, because with enough time, you won't be holding on. You'll either be attempting to add this person to your list of people to try and forget about, or contemplating about whether or not you made the right choice. As the slow rush of time passes, you might be left thinking of giving it another go. only to find that they've changed or are no longer the person you fell in love with. Or worse, they've moved on and found someone new. You finally find the courage to do the same and begin seeing someone new yourself, but perhaps a little too soon as you find yourself worried you'll make the same mistakes once more. So more time has passed and you're still single. You've got a pretty solid routine these days. Just works for you. One day you catch a glimpse of someone you're sure you know. Who was that? A lover? From a past life? Well, somewhere between a lover and a friend. Why not give her a call? Think she still has the same phone number? Well, no harm in trying. What's the worst that could happen? Hello? Hi. 
Currents is an album about letting go and moving forward. It had Kevin Parker expressing some heavy emotion during a transitional moment in his love life, but he chose to end the relationship with a sense of confidence and optimism for his future. He may have began the album with a breakup, but he finished it with a reunion. The one on the other end of the phone in past life is actually Sophie Lawrence Parker, Kevin's wife as of 2019. Whether you've changed or your love has turned to paranoia, eventually the both of you will find happiness again. So just let it happen. Embrace the new person you have become while trying to avoid those same old mistakes. It might just lead to a love that's truly meant for you. Tame Impala created an album that begs to be dissected. And if you like my videos, then you love understanding concepts at a deeper level, especially when it comes to music and sound. But as much as I love explaining these things, the best way to learn anything is by doing it yourself. Brilliant is a great way to learn about complex topics by solving fun and challenging problems. You should check out their Waves course if you want to know more about the science behind music, how guitars create and hold sound waves, how we measure the speed of sound, and the wave magic behind noise-canceling headphones. Brilliant is great at taking these concepts and breaking them down into bite-sized pieces of info. You can sign up for free at brilliant.org slash middle eight. I'll put that down in the description for you. It really helps support this channel. So as a bonus for middle eight viewers, the first 200 people will also get 20% off their annual membership. But tell me, what albums have gotten you through breakups in the past? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you loved it, hit that bell so you're notified of when the next episode goes up. You can follow us at more middle eight on Twitter and Instagram. And that's it for me. Again, thanks for watching and keep listening.